Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 2, 22 to 40. When the day came for them to be purified as laid down by the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Observing what stands written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male must be consecrated to the Lord, and also to offer in sacrifice, in accordance with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now in Jerusalem there was a man named Simeon, he was an upright and devout man. He looked forward to Israel's comforting and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on the Christ of the Lord. Prompted by the Spirit, he came to the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the law required, he took him into his arms and blessed God, and he said, No, Master, you can let your servant go in peace, just as you promised because my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared for all the nations to see, a light to enlighten the pagans and the glory of your people Israel. As the child's father and mother stood there wondering at the things that were being said about him, Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, You see this child, he is destined for the fall and for the rising of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is rejected and a sword will pierce your own soul too, so that the secret thoughts of many may be laid bare. There was a prophetess also, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was well on in years. Her days of girlhood over, she had been married for seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came by just at that moment and began to praise God, and she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When they had done everything the law of the Lord required, they went back to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. Meanwhile, the child grew to maturity, and he was filled with wisdom, and God's favor was with him. A light of revelation for all peoples. My eyes have seen thy salvation. Happy feast day to the presentation, brothers. When we consider the presentation of the Lord in the temple, there are many themes that can come to mind. The first one that strikes me is the willingness of Joseph and Mary to follow the law of Moses by taking their firstborn to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Encountering Simeon must have touched them by his words and also by him being just and devout. When Simeon therefore took Jesus into his arms and blessed God, he was prepared to return to his maker. Simeon confessed that his eyes have seen the salvation he had experienced God in a direct way. As we celebrate this feast today, let us reflect on what happened and seek to live with the Lord daily. We must be prepared to open our eyes to see and to welcome Him in all things so that we will be witnesses and lights so that others will experience Him. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.